Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my current skincare routine and some products that I've been loving. So yeah, I hope in some way this can kind of help you guys out, but just a little FYI, I am not a skincare professional, so whatever I'm doing, it just works for me. And you know, I thought why not show you guys because maybe some of you guys have like similar skin concerns and maybe you guys were looking for, you know, some particular products that might work for you. Without me further blabbering on, I am just gonna get on to the skincare routine. So for my morning skincare routine, I always go in and obviously wash my face. And I use the Philosophy 3-in-1 cleanser. I'm pretty sure you guys already see me talk about this a million times, but um, yeah, it does the job. It cleans my face, doesn't leave my face feeling like dry and dehydrated or anything like that. So yeah. Like, I feel clean after I use that cleanser, so, like, I don't have to worry about anything. So, yeah, it does the job, and we love her. So, after I'm done washing my face, I go in with a toner, and I have two toners here. It really depends on how my skin is feeling that day, so, um, if my skin is a little bit on the dry end of things and kind of flaky and stuff, I will go in with this Pixie Glow Tonic to go exfoliating pack. This does a good job of getting rid of any dead skin cells or any dry skin that might be on my face and it leaves my skin feeling nice and glowy. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I usually go in with the Thayer's uh, facial toner and this has witch hazel aloe vera formula and cucumber so a lot of good ingredients in here you know it doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that this toner does the job and gets rid of any unnecessary oils or whatever it may be on your face that you don't want underneath your makeup it's pretty natural on your skin too because of the ingredients so yeah i'm just gonna go with the there's toner whenever you're applying anything on your face just you know go upwards and not downwards or you know none of that other stuff just go upwards and that will kind of also give you that like lifted effect like we don't want to look saggy or anything we want to look chiseled you know my dark circles are really coming through like they want to they want to shine today like hi i'm gonna move on to the next step which is using some sunscreen i can't stress enough how important this step is you need sunscreen all year round in your routine, no matter what. I use the La Roche Posay. Don't come for me, but I, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's La Roche Posay. Um, but yeah, I use this one right here. It is the 60 SPF. I like this one in particular because. Um, it doesn't leave like a white cast it just blends into your skin and it kind of gives you like a nice glow to your skin like i personally don't mind that because my skin is pretty dry do you see what i mean it gives like a really nice shine and then after i'm done applying the sunscreen i'm just going to move on to some moisturizer and i'm going to be using the clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion it looks like that as you can see, I love this stuff. I use this on the daily and you know, it doesn't disappoint me in any way. It doesn't break me out and keeps my face all moisturized all throughout the day. So no complaints here. Okay, so now that I'm done with the moisturizer, I'm gonna show you guys this next step. I don't do this every day, it really depends on how I'm feeling and how tired I am that day. I go in with the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Eye Patches and it basically looks like that. Let me show you guys what it looks like inside. So it does come with a little spatula to kind of scoop out the patches. And then of course we have the patches in here. So what I like to do with these eye patches is basically put them in the fridge overnight and then in the morning when you apply them i'm telling you guys it is the best freaking feeling in the world like you 
will feel so good like i am not a morning person so i struggle with getting up in the morning and i feel like just by doing this and like that cooling sensation under her eyes it just makes everything so much better and like i feel more awakened and like i feel like my puffiness just goes away really quickly too and it's just like that sensation is just really nice in the morning so if you guys have i feel like this would work for pretty much any eye patches it doesn't have to be this specific brand um yeah just try that out try that method out and see you know how you like it just pop them on into the refrigerator overnight and then in the morning just use them and you will thank me later i also like to pop these on under my eyes whenever i'm doing like my makeup because i feel like it just captures like any fallout and like i don't have to worry about it and like just you know after i'm done my eye makeup i just kind of take them off and follow who you know so that's also another little trick if you guys didn't know but um yeah i really love this stuff you guys should definitely invest in some eye patches so i just went with the smith's strawberry lip balm as my last step in the routine and i mean lip balm is just an essential you know it doesn't really matter what lip balm you use just use a lip balm like you don't want your lips to look crusty and flaky or anything like that so use lip balm ladies and gents okay so this concludes the morning skincare routine now let's jump on ahead to my nightly skincare routine so the first thing obviously i have a full face of makeup on right now if you guys want to know how i got this look then there should be a cart up over here or I'll link it down below you guys can check out on how to get this look if you guys are interested I'm just gonna stop blabbering and show you guys what I basically do so for my face I obviously have lashes on I'm just gonna take these guys off ladies and gents if you want your lashes to last a really long time and keep its shape don't forget to put these back into the casing. I cannot stress you enough. Like, don't throw that casing away. Keep them. And just, when you're done using your lashes, just put them back in. Not that hard. Okay, so I just put my hair away from my face. Just so we can, you know, get in there and clean everything out. Um, so the first step is I go in with this Garnier Micellar Water. And this is with cornflower extract. I don't know if that makes any difference, but it is just a micellar water. And of course, I'm almost done with it because it really does work and it gets rid of my makeup. And it's a very useful liquid to have around. It sounds so weird. And also for my lipstick and stuff like that, I just take a tissue and just wipe that away it's like the easiest way to get rid of your lipstick without struggling with you know cleansers and stuff like that just put the micellar water into the cotton pad and i'm just going to wipe the makeup out okay ew i'm gonna take another one and now i'm just gonna do the eyes oh i just want to let the micellar water soak into the eye so that you can really get rid of the eye makeup without a problem like so okay i got rid of almost all the makeup from just the micellar water and it took us three cotton pads which looks like that you know now i'm gonna go in with the cleanser and really get in there and really wash off all of this makeup so for the cleanser as always what's new i'm gonna be going with the philosophy purity cleanser this is just my go-to cleanser which i'm pretty sure you guys are aware of by now but i really do swear by this it really does Get rid of all my makeup and it doesn't leave my skin feeling you know irritated or dry or anything like that so i really do love this i'm now gonna go and wash my face and i will be right 
bad. Don't rub your face when you're wiping away like the water. Just kind of dab at your skin because you don't want to like tug at your skin or anything like that. Okay. I feel clean. Okay, so after I washed my face, I'm gonna go in with this Ola Hendrickson dark spot toner. I've also talked about this before as well. I honestly love this stuff. Like if you have any like dark spots or if you have like any discoloration, any acne scars or anything like that, this will fade that away over time. So I honestly do believe in this product. It really does work. Um, I used to have like so many acne scars and like, you know, and it's just like fading away slowly. So I really do like this stuff. You guys should definitely check it out. So I'm just going to take a cotton pad and then just pour some onto the pad. And what I like to do is kind of just press it in instead of rubbing it. So after toner, I go in with a mask. I have a couple of options here. Um, I kind of want to show you guys because my skin is kind of weird like it has its ups and downs so like and just gives me attitude and such so i just kind of have to work with it and you know use whatever products that is going to work for my face on that day so the first one being so i use this one whenever i want to like have a glowy dewy effect or like when i know i'm gonna go out or if i'm doing like a makeup look or something like that and i want my skin to look nice i go in with this mask which is the Too faced glow job radiant boosting glitter face mask looks like inside and i don't really know how to explain the smell it i don't know like it's it's kind of sweet but kind of musky at the same time but and it is also really good at tightening and firming my face as well so we love her Next up, I have the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. So basically what you're supposed to do with this is kind of like um, apply this to dry skin and kind of like exfoliate your skin. And I like to focus this on like where I have like, you know, hyperpigmentation or any like dark spots. Over time, it just fades away and especially with the um, toner that I used, these two together, they're like the best combo ever. And yeah, like using this mask kind of brightens your face as well and just leaves your face looking so healthy and dewy so i really do recommend that mask as well honestly any glam glow mask is the bomb.com next up if my face is on the dry end of things and it's just crusty and all i go in with the laneige water sleeping mask i like to use this at night hence the name sleeping mask and by the time i wake up in the morning my face is glowing to the gods and it is hydrated and it just looks so like fresh and like awakened and it's just like the best feeling in the morning like your face pretty much just feels like it's so soft and silky smooth especially if you have like dry skin you will appreciate this mask i promise you that so the next mask is this L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask it's basically empty because I honestly love this ish like I use this whenever I have like a breakout and I'm like nah I'm not playing that game with you you know so I just put this on top and within two days bye bye what are you doing on my face? I really do love this stuff and it really does work and it gets rid of my acne in no time also i just want to show you guys like this face mask applicator i got this from sephora so if you don't want to spread like any germs or anything like that you can buy one of these and like pretty much just scoop out the uh face mask from this end and even apply it with this end and this side let me just show you guys let me just open this up show you all and then this side is basically it has like bristles so you can really exfoliate and really get in there and clean your face so it's a really good tool to have 
and it does the job you guys so the last thing i want to talk to you guys about in my nightly routine are these charcoal strips and these are basically the ones that go on top of your nose and honestly you guys like i'm telling you like i used to have like these texture bumps on my nose i don't know why i've literally tried everything out there in the world to get rid of it and i could not find anything until i came across these and honestly you guys it just changed my life like i've only used them like probably twice so far and like you don't have to use it daily just like whenever you feel like you know it's just a little bit bumpy or textured you just kind of pop one of these on and you're good to go like it's so good like it really does get rid of any blackheads or any of that unnecessary oils that are stuck in your nose and stuff like that so i highly do recommend these lips feel a little bit dry so i'm just gonna apply some lip balm so yeah this is my current skincare routine i hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to give me a like if you did subscribe down below and comment down below as well what you guys want to see from me next as always don't forget to check out my insta right over here i post pretty frequently there so check me out there and let's be friends thank you so much for watching as always i love you guys and i hope you guys all have a great day and see you guys very soon.